Once an eyesore, Brookmead Park is now in the middle of a major transformation. For many years, you know, people lived in tents in the West Nashville Park. That's right. Tonight, News Channel 5's Hannah McDonald reports that efforts are underway and the city is spending money to fix up what is left behind. You can understand with the cold, they couldn't do it, but now I see their trucks every day just cleaning this park up. While Brookmead Park needs more than just a sprucing up, little changes recently are making a big difference. I see the progress, you know, moving forward. Pedro Lopez is a vendor for the Contributor newspaper. From where he sails at the four-way stop by the park, he's seen crews at work. The, the park district came yesterday. They've been here all week uh, tearing out all the trees and putting gravel down and making a lot of improvements so the... the park can reopen. For roughly a decade, dozens of people lived in tents in the park. There was some illegal drug use here, too. After community tension came to a head, the city relocated the unhoused people. It also set aside $1.2 million in federal funding for park restoration. About $725,000 is left. Going forward, the department plans to return the park to its original state and function, which was a greenway with open space. At this week's park board meeting, it was revealed that when refurbished, the park will look a lot like it did before the encampment. 70% of the park is in a flood zone, so they can't do much more. It does um, preclude you from doing certain things. Um, you know, you could probably play, you know, disc golf in it, but you can't put a, like you said, a, a pavilion or something along those lines. And I think the only place for a restroom would be up near the uh, parking. Some people really wanted pavilions at the new park. Lopez knows others will be happy with whatever they get. And I'm glad the Park District's doing this and, and hope that they uh, get it done soon because people want this park. In West Nashville, Hannah McDonald, News Channel 5. Thank you, Hannah. We understand the park's upgrades should be complete early next year.